So let's have a look at this collection up close. This is a place to put down roots from the Garden of the Heart. And what you're looking at is collage. So the dark blue right there is so collage with a glaze of acrylic paint. And uh, <laughs> uh, I'm just so excited about this series. This is just amazing to see this come together. Um, the titles are from a poem that I wrote for my husband when we got married 30 years ago, and this is my 30th wedding anniversary. So a huge celebration. Now you're looking at some of the glazes right, right down in here where the sparkle is. If you see where it turns sideways, now you're looking at the side where the silk collage is in rivulets, so it stands out from the from the um, the canvas. It's on a gallery wrap canvas, and I'm using acrylic paint and pastel and uh, glazes and uh, pieces of Dupioni silk right in there, and some of the glitter that the. If you can turn it in the light, which is what I was trying to do with the camera, maybe you can see it in this one. <clears throat> Excuse me. The textures are um, created with, uh, when I draw into the wet paint, it, it, it etches little lines in the paint. So all this whimsical garden, to me, this is a, a, a mountain village. And um, there's the sparkling glitter. You can see better where it reflects off of my jacket. Of course, in person, it sparkles much better than it does on the camera. <laughs> so with the places where the glazes are, uh, I like to work between the gritty place, which is where you see the willow charcoal lines. And there's a very energetic line that comes out of my willow charcoal because that's my connection to the earth and then the glitter the sparkle with all the ethereal light where you come into these blue green um, glazes is that thin space between the dream world and the waking world now this uh, window setting is like a window on the soul so we can see the colors of the heart and the colors of the soul in here mixing together, the magennas and the deep intuitive blues coming together and fusing. Here's a little bit of the uh, charcoal calligraphy. You can see how energetic this line is. And the little, um, see the, the little short blue lines, those are um, pastel. <clears throat> and come back up into this section where the light from the outs, from the ethereal side. So I'm always working between the dream world and the physical world. So that's where this ethereal light is coming from. You can see it here between the very, the very deep corals colors and the, and the more pink uh, orchid colors. And then see over here how it alternates where this texture is into that magenta, that really deep magenta. The center of that blossom right there is put on with a piece of silk. And this whole piece is created with a piece of cashmere where I've imprinted my imagery on the cashmere and then painted back into it. You see uh, wording from the poetry that I've inscribed with graphite in the side, and then it's glazed over with the textured glaze. Here's some of the orchid color. You can see how breathless the that magenta, that blushy color turns magenta. I love this one. It just makes my heart sing. This one. I love the action between the lime green and this magenta color. It just comes alive. And in person, even more so in person. You could the, there's a wonderful uh, distinction between the the earthy, uh, lush softness of the cashmere and then the areas of the painting where the glaze, 
the glaze has been applied. So I'm combing back into the glaze with this textured uh, drawing tool. And it puts this linear, uh, really subtle linear element on top of the wording. And so it be, that part becomes um, glazy and, and a little bit shiny. And then the cashmere parts of it become very lush and soft, almost like you want to touch them. Here again is the calligraphy piece across the bottom of this canvas. Now these are on gallery wrap canvas and they're all varnished so they don't need glass. They're an inch and a half deep. So you can hang them right on the wall. Or we can put the frame on for you. This one, you can see the difference between the ethereal white light and the, and the earthy charcoal lines, and then it moves up into this really dreamy. So you're looking through layers of silk and glazes of paint. And then here the, the lines are made with pastel and a very calligraphic brushstroke. That magenta on that blossom there is way more vivid in person than it I could get it on the camera so I apologize for the limitations of the camera I love these greens to me the greens are are just soft and, and soothing now here it's hanging it's hanging on my wall it wasn't really bright in the room so the colors are a little bit more accurate, I'd say, with in a brightened room. On the right, you can see some of the handmade paper collage and then the Dupioni silk. And then places where I've etched the drawing tool into the paint. I will just say that discovering that I had illustrated a poem that I wrote 30 years ago is just blowing me away. It's just the most amazing thing to me. I, <laughs> I wrote the poem for my husband when we got married 30 years ago, and this month we're celebrating our 30th wedding anniversary. And to have these... Um, Paintings come to life and illustrate that poem is just amazing to me, and it just thrills me to be able to share them.